You mean to tell me that every piece of pipe in my whole house is bad? Well, that's sometimes the news that we get. So today I'd like to talk to you about a certain kind of pipe that is nearly impossible to get insurance for here in Florida and also many other places around the country. So what I'd like to talk to you today about is polybutylene pipe. It's a type of flexible pipe that was common in houses. Here in this area, they quit using it around 1995. And the problem with it is that the chemicals that we use to treat our drinking water begin to attack the pipe over time. So it starts getting cracks inside it. It can have a start having scales and kind of flake off inside and the problem is it goes from the inside out so you can't look at it and see when it's getting ready to fail and when it does fail it fails big time and it happens very very quickly so as a result insurance companies don't want anything to do with polybutylene piping and you can't blame them because the thing's a ticking time bomb so you might think okay well how long is it that it's going to take for this to happen. Well, the average is about 15 years. Now, the house that we saw this week that kind of prompted me to make this video was, uh, it's been in there for a lot longer than that. And there's just a lot of variables. But on the average, 15 years, it'll start to fail. So it's, it's not, it's not if, it's when it's going to fail. So sooner or later, it's going to fail. So how do you know if you have this kind of pipe? Well, the only person that can tell you 100% for sure is a licensed plumber. But I'll show you a picture of it right here. It's usually gray, although it was made in blue and black colors that I know of. It, but I've never seen any other than gray around here in Florida where we work. So it's, it's almost always gray. Usually, but not always, in the serial number and information, it'll have the letters P, B along with the numbers, and that's of course stands for polybutylene. But again, it doesn't always have that, so you need a licensed plumber to take a look at it to know for sure. You can't just rely on whether or not it's got the little letters stamped on it. So what do you do if you have this? Well, here in the area where we work, most insurance companies will not issue a new policy if that house has that type of plumbing in it. And we do have some that in some instances will give the new owner 30 days to get it remedied. And the way that they remedy it is a, a plumber will come in and if it's the kind of house that's up on piers where they can crawl underneath, they go underneath it, pull out all the bad stuff and then poke up new pipes through there. Usually they use PEX plumbing for that. It's, that's polyethylene pipes and um, they'll replace it with that or sometimes they go up in the attic and drill down through the header and, and feed the pipes down that way or even a combination of the two. It's uh, Sometimes it's a, a fairly easy job and sometimes they have to tear up some walls to do it. So it just depends on the house. And as far as cost goes, uh, I've seen it cost as little as $10,000. Not I'm talking about just for an average, like you know, three bedroom, two bath house. 10,000 to 20,000. It really just depends on how much work is involved to access where those pipes need to go. So it's it's not a small deal. It's not huge, but it's not a small deal either. But it, it can be a deal breaker and it can be a problem. So unfortunately, this house that uh, this came up with this week, it was one of those kind we couldn't see the plumbing anywhere. Anywhere where the plumbing did poke out like in the garage was painted over so um, it came up that it may be polybutylene so we had to scrape the paint off and uh, we're going to get a plumber out there to find out for sure and if it is indeed a problem then we'll figure out how to deal with it but like everything else in a house everything can be fixed it just takes time and money so anyway, I hope you got something out of this video. If you've got any questions about anything to do with real estate, call Pat or I. We'll tell you anything you want to know. There's a lot of misinformation out there, and we'd like you to know the truth. So call us anytime. No strings attached. We put humans over houses. So thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.